Hello and welcome. My name is Melody from Melody Crochet and I'm going to be showing you today how to make these fast, easy, bulky weight yarn fingerless gloves. This one's from Charisma, my favorite bulky weight acrylic over at Michaels and the color is Northern Lights. I love this colorway. I've probably bought 10 balls of this yarn since I first saw it. I love this colorway. The teals, the purples, the army green, the black, it matches everything I own. I live in black. But I have the free pattern over my blog. I'll link that down below. There's a downloadable PDF if that's easier for you. It's also linked from there. All the materials are linked down below. Those are affiliate links. I very much greatly appreciate it if you use my links. They don't cost you any extra and I get a little bit of a financial kickback from it. Let's get into the materials, shall we? For this pattern, you're going to need a J-hook, six millimeter, a darning needle for weaving in your ends, and some scissors for snipping. And that's it, aside from a three and a half ounce ball of bulky weight yarn. Bulky weight's easy to note because if you look at the back, there's always a ball of yarn, and it'll have a number five by it and say bulky. But let's get started. Now, I'm gonna show you how to get going. This is a very, very beginner pattern. I've had it on my blog for years and years, I wanna say 2013. And so many people have asked me to show them how to make it. And I'm so happy that I finally get to. So I am gonna do this in a beginner fashion because it is a beginner pattern. So if you're an experienced crocheter, still please stay with us and let me know if you like the pattern. But hopefully I won't be going too slow for anybody. <laughs> We're gonna do a slip knot. I do that by grabbing my finger. Here's the tail. Go around two times. Take the lower strand over the higher strand. The new low strand goes over the entire finger. Replace your finger with the crochet hook and pull. You know how to slip knot. We're going to be doing 27 nice loose chains. You never ever in a pattern like this, normally in a more experienced pattern, you would do a foundation chain so it would be nice and stretchy and it would not be an issue. But this is a beginner pattern. So we're going to be doing a regular chain instead of a foundation half double crochet. So since that's the case, if you notice that you chain or crochet tightly, if you crocheted before, get a bigger hook. No harm, no foul, just for the chain, but you can do it. Just yarn over. Yarn over means while clasping down here, wrap the yarn behind the hook, over the hook and toward you. Turn the hook downward and pull through. Nice and loose. Yarn over. Pull through. That's two. We're going for 27. And these will not be regular. If you're a new crocheter, your tension will be all over the place until your hands learn their way, and that's perfectly fine. You're still going to have a great pair of gloves to wear. Go for 27. Isn't this yarn pretty? Twenty-seven. Now, these are nice and loose so you can see your work. This is the 27th chain. This is the 26th chain. We are going to be working in number 25, so the third chain back. We're gonna be doing a half double crochet. So you're going to yarn over. Again, yarning over always means going from back over top and toward you. Insert into that chain, which means you'll have one strand over the top of your hook. Let's see if we can clear that just a touch. That's pretty clear. Yarn over, draw up that loop by pulling it back through the hole you just went through. Yarn over again and pull under everything on the hook. Again. So, what do we have here? Two half double crochets. There's your chain, the two chains that you didn't work into. There's one half double crochet and there's the second. And we're going to do it again. Yarn over, insert into the next one. Each of the chains forward are going to have one of these half double crochets. They're such a nice, bulky, warm stitch. They work up so fast. Yarn over, insert, draw up a loop. Yarn over, pull under everything. The little 
fluff right there. So are you guys planning any projects or gift crocheting for the holidays? Let me know down below in the comments what you're making. I have so many quick, easy patterns. I made a list. I feel prepared. I got the yarn together. We're going to do this. Tomorrow is the Granny Square Blanket. Takes a couple skeins of Red Heart Super Saver or whatever size four yarn you like. So if you're interested in that, come see me tomorrow. It's my favorite as far as baby blankets go. I think it was my first project. Yeah, for the most part. I made a granny that just kept going. So it wouldn't really be a baby blanket. It was about 10 feet wide and I was about nine years old. Yarn over, insert. We are almost at the last one. I see him there. See that last chain? Yarn over. Give him a half double crochet. Wonderful. Okay. So this is what he looks like. Mm, I love that purple. <laughs> now we're going to be chaining one loosely. Boop. And then you're going to turn. And you're going to half double crochet at the top of the last have double crochet of the row. So that one right there. Now, you might be concerned if you've worked back and forth as to whether or not you're going to get zigzaggy rows. You're not going to, but you do want to count. So just work with me. These gloves are made for beginners. It's gonna work out. But this is the start of row two. So we have our chain one we have turned. We are half double crocheting, so I yarned over. I'm inserting, inserting under two strands, not three. Very easy to get under three strands and a half double crochet. Just get under two. Boop. <laughs> there we go. The next one. We're just doing half double crochets all the way across. So that's going to look like that. If you saw the back, it would look like that. We're just going to work our way to the end. And we found ourselves in the last stitch of the row, giving it that half double crochet count to make sure there's 25. Chain one loosely, yarn over and turn, and you are going to half double crochet once again in the first half double crochet of the row, and across. Now that is all you're going to do for the next 11 rows, if you count this one. You're going to have 13 rows total, and this is number three. So just half double crochet to the end of the row, chain one, turn, and half double crochet back. Each row should have 25 stitches, and then meet me after your 13th row of half double crochets, and I'll show you how to turn these into clubs. The next morning actually I had to do two extra rows of half double crochet because when I folded it up at 13 rows and laid my hand on it at the widest portion of my palm it wasn't gonna cover it might have if I stretched it but it wasn't gonna work out well so I went ahead and did two more rows of half double crochet I'm not usually a large so you might want to check your yarn too I will measure it I'm usually a medium and this is measuring seven inches now, which is perfect, I think. So make sure yours is measuring about seven inches because we do know that certain yarns have a different stretch to them. Mine was alpaca the first time I made this pattern, could have had something to do with it. But I went ahead and did 15 rows of half double crochet thick 
and they are of course 25 stitches wide and let's go ahead and pick up where we were now these are going to be fingerless gloves so our finger will be sticking out up here and our thumb will be sticking out here you make both of them the same you're going to make your second glove exactly the same as this one you're just going to flip it and have this thumb sticking out the other side the creation is exactly the same so don't worry about that that's the perfect part of this project that makes it so beginner friendly you don't have to divide it up two different ways so we're going to go ahead and first this is where we've been working here <laughs> here is the top where our fingers are going to come out and by that i mean our fingers are going to come out that part on this side and we're going to do a single crochet just on the top let's do it together chain one and you see here you could see between the rows boop, boop, and just try and do a nice loose single crochet which means we're going to insert inside the stitch get under a couple strands draw up that loop yarn over and pull under the two on the hook then go to the next one get under some stitches yarn over draw up that loop yarn over pull under now why are we doing this it helps the pucker there would be a little bit of pucker if you just wrapped this around now I have 15 rows so I'm gonna have somewhere between 15 and 19 single crochets on the top of my work here every half inch or so just lay down a stitch Let's see how much it ended up being just for information's sake see how it kind of pulls in together it keeps things from kind of venturing out here's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten seventeen stitches perfect now we are going to want to sew these closed we do not want to do that on the pretty side of our gloves if you look at this stitch right here now this is going to be the same on both sides because we work back and forth but this stitch up top this is the pretty side the side that was facing you while you were doing the single crochet and this is the less pretty side so this is the outside so this is the inside of your glove and this is the outside of your gloves so you're going to face the pretty sides together just like you would if you were sewing something and we are going to work our way down now basically what we want is a thumb hole about five stitches down here's one two three four five and then we're going to skip five so five and then six seven eight nine and ten is going to be just single crocheted on one side of the thumb and then we'll pick up again and single crochet together all the way down that might not make a bunch of sense right off the bat so let's do it together we're going to get under one and two so i've in essence sewed them together and then grab that yarn pull under both layers of that fabric yarn over and close it like a single crochet and again you can see these together here's side one here's side two get under right in between the stitches and there's two next one three is still together four and here's number five awesome now we want a thumb hole but we need to travel over here so just on the side closer to you see we aren't picking it up over here single crochet one all by itself for two three four and five 
Now we're going to go back to folding it. Make sure you skip the side over here. And we are going to go through both sides again. And so down the side, all the way down for the next 15 stitches. So single crochet through both layers of fabric. If you feel like you have a slightly plumper forearm, and I guess more like your wrist, you can go ahead and even stop a little early. We're going to be cuffing these. So feel free if you want to stop like here and give yourself a little breathing room at the end, feel free. I'm not going to. My cuffs usually give just enough. Last one, make sure you get both sides and the very last stitch. You might have gotten off center a bit while going down the side. Won't matter except for the last one. And you've sewn them completely together. Pull that loop all the way out. Boop. And we're going to put the end on the needle. Just sew that up. That seam right there. It'll hide it very nicely. Boop. Okay, if you'd like, just to make it extra secure, if you know they'll be washed in the machine a little bit extra, go down the other way. Make sure you take out any puckers that you might have caused if you pulled that tight. nice and close to where it's coming out. We can also sew that one in the very same way, but I'm not going to make you watch me do that. But go ahead and do that the very same way as you just did the other thread that was sticking out. And where's your thumb? There's your thumb hole. Before you put them on, give them a little cuff. Just like that, maybe. Let's see how much. Oops. So about two inches up, a little bit, about two inches of a cuff. We're not going to sew it or anything. Totally flexible. This will fit on both hands just fine. And your fingers are nice and toasty. What do you think? Went ahead and made the other one. I was watching something on TV last night, so I just finished up. Didn't work that top stitch. But here they are. I love that colorway. And if you like them more on this side, then you can just switch them because they're completely convertible. <laughs> also, they lend really well to embellishment. If you have a button or something you'd like to put at the wrist or on the top, or maybe crochet a bow or anything at all, they lend really well to that. But you could see why this is where I did that little edging single crochet and on this one I didn't see how it kind of sticks out same glove completely except without that edging you just get a bit rougher of a feel which is fine if you are intimidated by the single crochet along the edge don't worry about it you'll st still get a perfectly functional glove I hope you stay warm safe and dry thanks for joining me please like and subscribe and share with anyone you know might enjoy watching this video and also if you have any questions about what you need to make these, the links are down below. The pattern's on my blog, Melody Crochet, and I very much look forward to seeing you tomorrow. See you then. Bye!